Welcome back to Can't Live Without Electricity. This map looks like a peach. I'm glad you guys enjoyed watching the first episode because I'm loving this optimization puzzle. It's a game about bringing electricity to every single house that shows up on the map, and this time there's a new mechanic. See this light yellow stuff? That there's peach juice, and if you want to cross it, you gotta build a bridge. So it's a new resource I have at my uh, <laughs> availability. And every bridge has a start and an end. So creating a start or an end costs one bridge unit. That's important because I think you can connect while bridged out. And it's just each bridge to land connection that costs a bridge. After every time you connect houses, you get to pick new items and then new stuff pops up like the green power plant. That is its own set of houses. So I've got to actually change up how this is wired just so I can make room for the green to connect. I think I'm just gonna connect this diagonal as well. Now I'm almost out of wires, so already I might have to start managing resources, but thankfully I can get a little bit more. Easy blue power plant showing up. I'll just connect the three, since I know that's gonna be the blue connection, and connect the other blue. That's a very nice one. And I'm gonna keep going wires because I feel very short. Purple showed up, just gotta connect to the four like so. Now I think this purple one is best off doing a pipe just across the chasm directly to the four. Still preserving my resources well, but now I'll take a ton of hammers because I am pretty short. A couple green guys have shown up. But if I connect directly, I can just go around the orange. Can't connect different colors. Gotta stay segregated and then go for green. However, if I want to preserve wires at the cost of a bridge, I could make a connection like this and then hook up green. Now I'm down to six wires. Thankfully, I can get more. This seems to be the limiting factor. At least I can connect the purple to the four. The green, on the other hand, that's tough. Let's see, does it reach all the way in? Here it does, just barely. A lot of bridge cost, though. Wires and bridges, two things I need the most. Here, I think, is now faster to actually rewire the greens, so they just pass through one another. Now the blue is a tough one. I think I gotta use the five and six portals. And then hopefully six can connect to three, but it might be a little bit short. No, it does connect. I mean, we are down to the wire. I get no more. I'll take eight hammers because it's rare. I'll tell you what, at least I can connect to the purple, but the blue does not seem doable. I think I've been very efficient so far, so I can't optimize. Instead, I think I'll finally show you what the generator does. I only have one of them and they're very powerful, but what I can do is upgrade a house to become self-sufficient on electricity. It's got a water mill on its roof, bougie ass. And it is powerful. It's actually so powerful that if you have it at the end of the game, it deducts your score for having them. So I want to get rid of that eventually. And actually, I'm off to a pretty good start with the green connection. Now, the orange connection, not so bad. I can just go around the six and then bridge on over to the one. And yes, I did say orange. Got a lot of comments about this last time, but it is orange and I have receipts. Let me zoom into the orange power plant here, look at it from its side, and I have a color chart here. I mean, it's not orange orange, but it sure as hell isn't red. It's smack dab in the middle, and if you look closely, it's exactly the same as reddish orange. Compare the walls of the power plant to the reddish orange. Orangish red is close, it might just be smack in the middle, but it's definitely not red. To some people, it might look more red because they have a blue light filter on their monitor. Like a lot of monitors either come with blue light filters or they have some program installed like Flux. And if that's installed, that makes everything look slightly more red and protects your eyes. Anyways, with the green optimization, I'm gonna do this so I can save a bridge. I can also do a green optimization above that saves a bridge at the cost of no wires. And the cool thing about the generator is I can actually hook the blue up directly to the generator to power that house. However, I admit it's not necessary right now. I could just snake right through here and connect the six. So already I've gotten rid of it, but I just want to make that clear. I'll take more wires because I always feel like I could use them. Orange connects nicely and so does green. Thankfully, I have enough hammers to go around. Could use more bridges now. Bridges and hammers, both good. I think I can reroute orange just to save wires at the expense of bridges. Actually, I don't want to be at the expense of bridges because I got to get purple to four, but I'm out of bridges. Okay, so I'm going to really change up orange then just so I use as few bridges as I can. And now I have two bridges to barely support purple. So already we're getting into optimization territory. Tons of bridges showing up. I can connect purple easily and orange. That's tricky. I was thinking of maybe deleting the connection to two here and just bringing two directly to its power plant. That saves some bridges and lets orange sneak in right here. 
Low on wires. I'll take any wires I can get. Easy green connection, but the blue is pretty far out there. But it does look like I'm going to be slightly short on wires if I wasn't actually too off. Okay, 20 wires. That's big. Easy blue connection. Actually, I will save some wires here. Blue in the middle also looks easy. Oh, this is getting to be tight, though. Gladly take eight hammers. A nice easy green connection. Orange? I could go orange the five and then come out the back. The five and the six are nice connectors, but I don't know if I'll be using them all the way through. Keep taking wires. I'm definitely short on them. More connections of both types. I think I'm going to want to save a bridge here. I'll keep the connections horizontal. I could also save a single wire. Actually, I could save a, a full wire by doing a couple reroutes like this. I could also save half a wire, but at the expense of a bridge, so I won't. Another rare. I have so many hammers already. And plus, I'm getting three hammers with this. I'll just go more bridges. Bridges make the world go round right now. Oh, and especially with this purple connection. I mean, I'm down to three bridges again. Bridges or wires? What's more important? I'm low on both. I actually think I'm going to go wires. I think it's easier for me to optimize bridges right now. But it is an easy green connection. Should be an easy blue connection too, depending on how I want to frame it. I think I'll frame it like that. I'll just say bridges. Ow, bridges are wires. Oh my gosh. Thing is, the three hammers are useless. So half of my pick here would just stink. Or I could go wire and just be set on wire for a long time and then try to prioritize bridge. But I don't know if I'll be so lucky. You could say the hammers put a wrench in it. So I'm going with that. And thankfully, I'm actually not punished because I don't need to spend any extra bridges. Just two easy connections. Looking for bridges now. This I'll take wire and bridges. Easy purple connection. And I'll go for the low bridge connection. I can always optimize wire later. That's a lot of bridges. Now we're talking. Easy green connection. Blue looks a little tough. I will have to spend two bridges. And there's 50 rounds, so we're going to keep adding more and more stuff here. And it's going to get so damn crowded, but thankfully I have a nice easy turn. Keep going wires and bridges. It seems to be the main holdup. This is a little tricky. I mean, the purple part's easy. I'm not worried about purple. I am worried about this green in here. I'm a bit less worried, though. I could get rid of the blue and just do a nice green connection. Bring blue around the long way. This is quite bridge expensive, but it connects there. But I do have bridges to spare, so it's all good. I keep going wires and bridges. The blue neighborhoods, or the green neighborhoods, looking damn good. And green, I think, can just easily connect to the rest. I'm set on wires forever. So I'll just take seven bridges. I should be set on bridges forever now. I'm gonna keep swapping these around and get an easy orange connection. Because I'm equally good on wires and bridges, I'll take both. Thankfully, I keep getting offered easy connections. I could reroute green a little bit to actually saves a bridge with that. Could be short on hammers, but I think I'm good on everything. I'll go wire and hammer here. It's like, pick your poison. They're all bountiful. So now, yeah, keep spreading the love, wire and bridge. Bridge and wire can optimize a green right here. I don't feel the need to optimize until I need to. This orange is pretty isolated. I think there's a pretty easy fix. I could just destroy the green connection so I can squeeze the orange around. And then the green can just bridge the gap. Three fifths of the way there. I'll actually go hammers because I was kind of looking for those. I did feel short on hammers. Purple would be hard if it wasn't just a simple connection to the purple plant. Hammers and wires. Hammers, I think. One easy orange connection. The other one is quite tricky. I see a weird workaround. So I'm going to dismantle a lot of things first. Starting with the blue, followed up with the green, followed up with another green. So I was thinking orange could just snake through like that. And that's not too bad because I can reconnect blue easily. And then green can reconnect as long as I just readjust some oranges. Sorry, not oranges, blues. And then bring it back around in the most backwards way possible. That's what the hammers are for. Don't know if it's the best way to do it, but it did work. Now I need wires and hammers. I'm going to be cheap on wires right now, even at the expense of bridges. And here, yeah, I don't mind spending bridges just because I need to reroute blue so it kind of goes around orange. And then I can easily hook up that. Perfect. Doing good on wires still. Well, barely. I think I'll finally be set for a while with wires now. It's an easy blue connection. Orange is going to need a pipe. Haven't been using many of those, but they do have a calling. And now bridge and hammer. Yeah, I think bridge and hammer equally. Easy green connection. Purple, on the other hand, is going to take some work. Right from the get-go, I wonder if I could destroy this blue path just to allow space for purple to come through like this. 
Then I would just need to have blue go directly to here and maybe use one fewer bridge just so green can park around like that. It's all comfortable. Bridge or wire, 31 and a half wires doesn't go far. I still have 16 bridges. Okay, purple can definitely be cleaned up. Yeah, this purple neighborhood has been waiting to be optimized for a while. I think that this is the correct way of doing so. Wire savvy. Now I'll take bridges or hammers. Actually, I'll go hammers over bridges. Okay, easy green connection. Second one, this is gonna be a bit tricky. Man, the green is just blocked hard in both directions. I was thinking if I get rid of that blue line, the green is an easy connection. Then blue has to like go around. I was almost thinking changing the orange and purple lines just so blue could fit in. Now, if I get rid of orange, purple can connect, but then orange wouldn't. Now, because orange connects to five, I just need to have either of the connections from five connect to a one. I'm gonna make some weird uh, adjustments that may not seem like they're doing anything. If I delete the purple and then directly connect the purple to the power plant without any portals, I could then bring orange over. That's kind of interesting because it's starting to kind of create a bit of a gap. I almost wonder then, can I do something similar with blue? Maybe I kind of bring a pipe out for purple. Pipe it right there. Then blue could do something similar as in connect directly to its power plant. Then green could be deleted here and instead snake all the way through to here, allowing me to make an easy orange connection. It's probably better too, because I, I haven't been able to use many pipes. I have a ton of bridges, let's go hammers. Easy blue connection, thank you very much. And the green connection's quite easy too. I'll spend a bri extra bridge. Hammers or wires? Again, go wires. I guess I'm starting to make some tough wires. And now houses are spawning on other different colored wires. Well, delete the blue wires, at least let the orange easily connect. Probably like so. And then it should be another easy orange connection, so I'm not worried yet. Bridges or hammers? Let's go bridges now. Well, the green connection is pretty easy. Just get around the orange, bring the green in. But the purple is very tough. I mean, first off, this just isolates the orange house. So let's get rid of this green wraparound. It's going to probably have to go the long way now. Now, the good news is I can get rid of a lot of wire here, which should also save me some green wire. But now, how do I get both orange and purple? Well, I could at least get the purple to go around the green, but then can I get it to go around the blue? I don't see an easy way to repair the blue if I go with this root. It does leave them just super stranded, so I don't know. If I'm leaving blue stranded, I could leave a bit more of it stranded. What's one other stranded blue anyway? It just makes me wonder if I could like redo this whole section. Something about it, like something about this specific purple connection. Feels avoidable, but I just don't know how yet. Like if I could connect through this way and get them all, that could prove interesting. Though it isolates a blue. Well, hold on. Maybe I go back to the original idea and just connect the blue. All oh, right, there's still four other blues. <laughs> Okay, 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 I see a different idea though. I have to delete so much, but I think it's finally starting to kind of work out. Just keep deleting, keep deleting, keep deleting. So purple can come down and this should connect with everybody just fine. Green now has a way around to its two like that. Blues can be cleaned up quite simply like that. I wonder if the greens in the back could actually be rerouted or at least just letting the purple wrap around them. Like I bring the greens in and then the purple right behind. And then a magical thing happens where I barely make any progress. Actually, does purple need to wrap that way? How do I wrap purple this way instead? Probably quicker. Then I can go back to the old green wrappage. Aha! Oh my gosh. The blues are in and orange was never a problem because it could just go around all the way here. Good God, that was a tough optimization. And I still have most of my resources. I'll grab more wires in case I need to do more long distance. I could save a bridge like this. Blue is just out there, huh? I just fixed that neighborhood and now you have to ruin everything. This feels like a case of disconnecting a purple to connect a blue. And I can also save a lot with the orange and possibly bring the purple around. If I connect the pipe from here, I would have to go directly straight. So what if I change orange's pipe to, ah, oh, that goes where green is. Okay, fine. I will adjust green. I don't know why that bent in the first place. Orange can come around. 
disconnect some of that, and then link up just like it was before. But now purple has a pretty clean connection and can use another pipe because I haven't been using enough of those to connect to the purple plant. Another turn. I feel like I need more hammers. Oh, a nasty green. No, it's not too bad. I can just have purple go around it. Green connect directly. All is good. And an easy green here. Another turn like that. I'll take six hammers. The blue on the top is easily mendable. Orange can go around it. Blue can connect. Orange in the middle is tricky. First off, it's kind of an annoying fix with the purple. Then what do I do about orange? I feel like I have to destroy this long bridge. It was already pretty inefficient. So at least orange could connect directly. So now I'm left with the lonely purple. Well, this is why I got all those hammers. I could just go around back, hammer down everything and connect it to the main plant. Yeah, take more hammers. I'm spending them. Both of these actually look pretty tricky. I don't know what I'm gonna start with. They both suck. I can get blue off easily, but it's just an island now? Unless I get rid of this purple wire, which maybe is easy. I don't know. I was dealing with this problem for a while, so I doubt it. I mean, if I disconnect this blue and just bring purple back, I guess there is some world in which I just bring purp or blue around the long way via pipe. I'd have to disconnect orange. And maybe orange is fixable. Like I could again fix green for a start. I wonder if I could try something preposterous as in just getting rid of the direct green connection to make room for the orange connection. Then I just need to find some other way to connect green. Well, actually I could probably do it pretty sneakily. Orange actually can just bump around to the five, and then purple could easily make room for a passing green bridge. That's actually very fine. And I still have the purple to do because this is the harder one. Yeah, let's start by just disconnecting orange. I think purple's gonna go out back because I think it's again, just another pipe work. If I bring it here, I guess it's actually not too bad now that I see the diagonal pipe. It works for how long though? I'll go 10 wires, three hammers. Pretty easy green connection at least, but the orange? I don't know about that one. How on earth am I meant to get out of here? I'm thinking like if I bring green around below it, I could try to go up. Now this looks futile, but it's not, because I could connect blue and then pipe it here so that orange would have its own space to pipe, almost. Because I can make a starting pipe, but it would end at purple and there's nowhere diagonally for it to go. Damn. I could try something similar and just equally demented. We restore blue to its former glory and disconnect this short connection. Instead, rerouting green so that blue has room to snake behind green, which it actually just doesn't. Damn it, blue can't quite wrap around. Well, I mean, I could disconnect the greenhouse, okay? And then do a wrap around with blue. This works too. Although it does leave me with an annoying green. I'll deal with that later, because I was thinking I bring orange up to here. And I could go pipe, pipe. Oh, then it could pipe back across like that, connecting the orange. Now I just have this green. I feel like, again, I can just barely pipe it using my last, one of my last pipes. And then just rerouting purple. So it goes a different way through green. Giving me plenty of room for the ultimate dumb green connection. I can't believe that worked. Consider it optimized. I'm fine on wires. I need hammers though. Okay, purple's easy. Green's easy. I needed that. Let's keep going hammers. Oh no. Oh, these are both terrible. It's like, sure, yeah, I can easily connect them, but look how isolated orange is. I wonder if I just say screw six being attached to blue then, which sounds absurd, yes, but it might work, okay? because I just need the blue to connect directly to the three, like so. Now I could detach this blue house in the back and then get rid of a lot of roads, or a lot of wires, and just so I can re-link up to orange. Orange is doing okay. It's not great, it's not terrible. Most of orange is fine. It doesn't actually directly help me with my problem. I mean, it helps me connect the other orange. Um, I was just gonna say with blue that I could reroute green to go the other way around blue and really leave some room in here just so I could snake blue by. And that gets everything except for the new blue. Maybe it's just a bad connection. I connect blue like that. But the way I see it just simply isn't good enough. I'm wondering if I want to connect six to green. That actually solves my problem. I have a new six so I can disconnect green, link it to that six, and then link it up to green. 
And that helps because I could reroute purple a little bit, right? Well, I don't know. Purple's changing for in quite a lot of ways. Maybe I could disconnect blue, regular connect orange, regular connect purple, do something with blue. I could also disconnect orange here, disconnect purple here, do a direct orange connection and a direct purple connection. That's not much better. Well, if I disconnect the orange, okay, and then wrap it around the back side of blue and disconnect greens, because greens could just directly hop the two, I then have spaced orange or for blue to jump right through. Good God. I'll take the eight hammers, thank you. Easy <laughs> green, blue on the other hand, please don't be difficult because maybe I can just reroute orange and then slip green in behind. I think green can come from behind so blue can snake around. This is tight. I actually could use maybe a couple more bridges, but I should go wires. 10 bridges should be enough. There's no way it's not enough. One green was just given to me, other orange can just be taken care of. And then green fixed, fix the other green. Next, now I'll take six bridges, screw it. Oh, we're both just good to me? Oh, both were good to me, and that's a win. Damn, that was tricky, but a perfect score. This game never fails to be satisfying, so thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next episode. Have a wonderful day, and peace.